we're starting our presentation off today with mortgage rates and projections. So looking at this graph, the solid orange line shows rates here over time. And then our dotted lines show predictions from Fannie Mae, NBA, NAR, and Wells Fargo as we head into the end of 2024 and throughout 2025. Now, these lines start in the present day at around 6.5%. The reality is right now we are actually at around 6% with our interest rates. So that puts us ahead of the game here with these predictions as we head to the end of the year and into next year. As you can see, they're projecting that we are going to be around six or the high fives as we head through 2025. So the fact that we're ahead of the game right now is a big positive, especially for buyers. Moving forward into mortgage rates here, all right, for a 30 year fixed loan, all right. Over the last year, you can see we peaked up as high as 8%, so very, very high. That was extremely tough on the market. Rates have been volatile, moving all the way through the year. And now as we head into September, as I mentioned, we are down near that 6% mark, so much better shape. Moving forward to the fact that homes are sitting on the market longer. Now, what I wanna to touch on is the last few slides talking about the interest rates being lower. This slide indicating longer time on market, which is also leading to more inventory, is really creating prime conditions for buyers. I mean, the best buying conditions we've seen in Central Oregon in a very, very long time. So while this graph is national here, we're looking at 53 days or so on market that is slowly climbing. In Bend, we are closer to 70 days on market for unsold listings. So again, homes are sitting longer. There's more inventory right now. Interest rates are lower. It's a time to buy if you've been sitting on the sidelines here for a while. Looking at months of inventory of homes for sale. So again, this is contrasting a seller's market, a balanced market, and a buyer's market, okay? So as you can see here today, we are technically still in a seller's market. Now, that is because homes that are priced really well and are best quality are still going fast. They're still going with multiple offers. So that is something to keep an eye on. And as a seller, you can still capitalize if you're willing to work with the market conditions. Now, I mentioned it is the most advantageous time in a very, very long time for buyers here in Central Oregon. That's shown on this graph here. As you can see in 2020, and even throughout the last few years, we've still been deep into that seller's market. And there's been the mo most repeated that we've seen really since looking all the way back to around the mid 2010 to 2015 time frame. Moving forward to our Beacon report for September 2024. All right, so the median home price in Bend was 706,000. That is down a touch around 6%, 25 median days on market. Now, this is for sold homes. So again, I want you to remember that. We talked earlier about the 53 days nationally in the 70 days or so here in Bend. That is for homes that have not sold. Again, the homes that are selling are averaging around 25 million days. We've got 148 total closings. That's up just a bit in four months of inventory that is stable and level with last month. Moving forward to MLS data for Bend, single family homes for sale between 400,000 and 2.4 million. We've got 624 total listings that is down around seven and a half percent. And that is in part due to seasonality, maybe a little bit of election distraction right now. We are at 71 median days on the market. So this is the number I mentioned for homes that have not closed. Again, there can also be a lot of listings that are a part of this that were listed earlier in the summer. Sellers aren't motivated. They know they're not gonna get their price for their property. So those homes are just sitting there and that's can kind of make it a hard dynamic when it comes to reading the market as those homes aren't really playing a role, all right? They're not gonna sell this fall and this winter. They're gonna have to wait till a later point to get that price. So we're having to factor all of that in when we talk about numbers and days on market. But again, we are at 71 homes that are not closed. We've got 348 listings with a changed price. So that's still up. And then average change from original price is around six to 7%. Moving forward to inventory. As I mentioned earlier, we're at four months of inventory and that is steady here with the previous month. This also plays again into great buying conditions relative to the past. As we've mentioned in our previous market updates, we've been as low as 0.3 months of inventory. So four months is a ton right now relative to what we have experienced. In terms of days on market, 
very consistent again for sold properties 25 this month and 25 last month the good properties are still going relatively quick so as a buyer you do need to remember that as a seller it's still possible to sell your home quickly and for a good price but again it just has to be best of quality and priced really well relative to the market and your neighborhood moving forward to median price per square foot this is a number another number that stayed very level very consistent and stable here really throughout okay, kind of recent history as shown by this graph. We're at 359 a square foot, that's stabilized, and we'll see what happens here as we move forward into winter in 2025 with any type of interest rate change. The bottom line, buy, buy, buy. As I've alluded to in this presentation, right now we've got the best buying conditions in a very long time in Central Oregon. Lots of seller competition. So again, the homes that are listed for sale, you can sell them, but you have to be best of quality. You have to price well. You are competing against those other listings, not just in your neighborhood, but in the region as a whole. Rates are at two year lows and trending lower. This is something we've all been keeping an eye on for a very long time. We need to continue to keep an eye on it as we move to the end of the year and into next as there could be some big changes with interest rates. Now, if you're a buyer that is waiting for interest rates to drop, be very careful with that strategy as you're one of millions of people that are likely thinking the same way. Once those rates do drop low enough, we are going to likely see a flood of buyers into the market, resulting higher demand, more multiple offer situations, and potentially higher prices. Sellers need to be patient if they can afford to be. If not, they need to be aggressive. Now is not the time to sit around for a seller if you're not getting showings, again, if you're not getting activity on your listing, right? If nothing is happening, if it's clear that people aren't interested in your home, you need to be aggressive to move in this fall, right? And sellers need to be best of quality and best price to sell. This is something that we've chatted about here throughout this presentation. Please, 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 when you come up with a strategy to sell, that you're, again, very intentional with your price, with the quality of your home in order to move it the quickest. Thank you guys for watching the September 2024 market update. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the market, anyone on our team would love to sit down with you and have a low key conversation. I hope everybody has a great finish this September. We'll look forward to seeing you back here next month for our next market update.